Looks like a Corvette. Chris, we must talk on the phone, right? Yes, sir, Richard Rollins. This is my I'm mother. Hey there, Mrs. Hi. Smith, how are you? Mrs. Smith. Smith. My name is Mrs. Smith, and this is my son, Christopher Smith. Hi. Can we pull the cover off? Take sure. Okay. Yeah, start from the front. That'd be the best way. My husband loved cars. This was one of his treasures, so I'm hoping that they'll be able to restore it and bring it back to running. Ta-da! Wow. Pretty cool. Richard gave me a little bit of the backstory. He said that your dad purchased this in 81, and it's basically been here since 82. He's had it in storage for about 30 years. 30 years. Wow. wow. That's a long time. It was more kind of a tribute or a commemorative car for him. Mm -hmm. So to have it back up and running would mean a lot to not only me, but her as well. Uh, he taught me how to work on cars and build them and do all those things and act like men. 63 was pretty much the year that the Corvette became a bona fide sports car. The Stingray rocked all new body styling and had all kinds of impressive features that even the Ferraris of that day didn't have. Fuel injection, had independent rear suspension. I mean, it was so cool they even named a TV show after it. Best part, finished Stingrays with number matching everything can fetch as much as 100 grand. It's really, you know, pretty car, but it's been sitting for almost 40 years. I mean, that's fuel lines, brake lines, water lines, anything that's rubber is going to have to be replaced. He was driving it, and a uh, small little minor problem, and then it just sat and never got back around to it. Wow. All factory chrome, a little bit more dress up. It is rare color, and it is fuel injected, so that makes it pretty cool. Uh, the deal was, though, that he liked it so much, he was kind of afraid to drive it. And there's a lot of guys like that. Me and Dennis are not one of them. That is very cool. The first thing I looked at when I got here was the code on the motor. It is an RF code, which is 375 horse. That was the biggest, baddest car you could get. That in itself is really rare. Numbers of the motor are right, tiers right, color of the car is right. Saddle tan for paint. Okay. Interior is really nice. Yeah, it's it still really soft. Is. And it's a classic. 